What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate that. Happy Black Friday because we all celebrate that. Ah, we all make money from that. In this video, we're going to talk about five things that you guys really, 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 really need to do for Black Friday or to prepare for. I mean, you really need to do this at all times, guys, but like especially for Black Friday, Cyber Money and that stuff and how you can capitalize on this and make a lot of money, okay? I've had days where I've made $20,000 with some of my sites um, just on like th like this this week, okay? Starting on Black Friday and following through Cyber Money and the days after Cyber Monday, okay? Me personally, I've had more sales come through on Cyber Monday and the days after Cyber Monday and then Black Friday. Um, me, I, I just think people like go to brick and mortar stuff more often when that happens, but that's besides the point, guys. We'll get to the video. First thing I want to do is give a shout out to my boy, Austin. Boop. He hopped in the course uh, pretty recently and he just passed $2,000 a day in, in sales. Which is crazy, okay? I mean, it hasn't been like right away from him. It wasn't like easy, but he did it. Congrats. He posted that. He shared that in our private group for the course. So if you guys are interested in that, link is in the description, guys. There's a huge Black Friday discount. Literally, I'm cutting it like over 75% off, okay? So if you are interested in that, hop in now. That's going to last for like the next three days, and that's it. But let's get started with today's video. Let's go. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do, right, is the, like a key to marketing is scarcity, okay? You need to make people think and like, like, like get, get your brand like perceived to them that yo these products are not gonna last forever okay or like like these products are flying off the shelves this discount isn't gonna last forever like scarcity okay it can't be all around it can't be like 24 7 like ongoing and it, it can't it can't like always be around okay you have to make them feel like yo this is the time to buy this is the time to buy is now okay and an app that you can use for that i talk about this in, in one of my app videos guys but it's called herify okay you can download that in the shopify app store the link is in the description um like literally links for everything is gonna be in the description but you can download that and what that does basically is it goes on your product page okay you can have timers there you can have inventory levels and that that, that show it go down live on your site okay so like, it literally shows or it, it's it's giving that perceived scarcity to to the the client to the customer and whatnot to help them convert to help them get sales all right so again that like scarcity is such such like an important factor when it comes to marketing guys and i think it's one that's like severely overlooked because a lot of people they just try and get eyeballs to the site and then like they just figure people are just gonna buy the product because they like the product and that, that's not it guys you really really have to just close them on the site okay or on the on the products that you're trying to sell and convert and whatnot so herify is an app that you can use that i use frequently it helps convert guys it goes on your product page it's not anything on the home page is not a pop-up um anything like that if you are looking at pop-ups you can use the app privy um if you are looking um for social proof you can use the app um fomo like there's a bunch of apps guys i literally talked about in the app video but that's the thing you want scarcity for this for 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 the ease of conversions okay and this plays in the whole entire funnel again guys like you drive traffic from instagram that's how i teach in my course that's how i do everything else always plug but it, it, like you got to drive traffic from instagram with good ad copy good images good shouts all that stuff and like th that right there is one of the hardest parts that people have when they first try and get traffic to their site and it's very important for Black Friday because like you need traffic to your site you want a lot of traffic to your site to get a lot of sales right but that's that's the first step that's only the first step guys there's a lot of other factors that play into this okay and so you need to have scarcity there okay you drive traffic from Instagram you have FOMO you have all these apps I mentioned earlier and in my other videos that are like like that are, that are, that are I guess you could say filling up or like like play like like playing their part in the cog. I don't know. I suck at acronyms okay, or not. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, but but you, like it, it's a funnel, guys. You drive traffic from Instagram. You get them to your site. Your site needs to have the proper apps and whatnot that help convert, that help give social proof, that help capture emails and give discounts and help close customers that wouldn't necessarily be customers if you hadn't you know closed them, right? So like one, you offer huge discounts for the email. You offer um like social proof uh, pop ups and stuff with FOMO and all that just just to increase site trust for the client. And then you have Herify and whatnot. To help convert them on the product pages because if you can drive them to your website to a like a specific product page that shows at least some form of interest or curiosity that the customer has for your product now you need to close them on it and be like yo these products ain't gonna be here forever this discount's not gonna be here forever you better buy now okay that that's what like all that is for okay so essentially that that's what you're doing with the scarcity app okay uh number two for black friday show and like this is something i've done with a few of my sites guys um I, I don't tell people this right so like it's going up on the web for the first time i haven't seen anyone else actually say this online I I looked around, I was like, ooh, I think I'm onto something. But what you guys can do, right? So with Black Friday, what and Cyber Money, like what, what why why is it so why is it so popular, right? Deals, right? Big, big deals, okay? Now, what 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 a business owner, like what a dropshipping, what you might think, what a dropshipping guy might think, right? For their sites, like, okay, I need to offer a big deal, which is gonna hurt my margins, but I'll make more money. Or or 
you can increase your top level prices, right? Like you can increase the actual pricing for your products, okay? By a certain amount, even like ten dollars or something. Like that. But again, your website needs to look money, okay? It needs to look 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 like it's money. Like, and I say that as in like it needs to look good. It needs to look expensive. Like the product can't you can't have outrageous products and then like the the whole brand and the vibe you get from your site just looks like crap. Then this then this is not gonna work, okay? But what I'm saying is if your site looks expensive, looks luxury, or like looks good, it looks money, okay? That's what I'm saying. Then then you can increase the prices of all your products or specific product lines that you're gonna be selling okay and then that allows you to offer a bigger discount for your products okay so I, I, I you can do that guys like you're the owner you can change the products you can change the margin you can make better margins guys again you're winning in the back end of that now now you don't need as many sales like as, as you would have done say if you didn't know this right and you were charging the same rates and doing the same marketing techniques but now you just made less because people bought the product at the same price you just offered a discount right so if you increase the top pricing right so say say, say you're selling a necklace for like 14.99 or something, like 15 dollars right but you increase it now to 21.99 and the discount is you know 14.99 or you make it even lower than what it was so like twelve ninety nine instead of having it originally be fourteen ninety nine and I have to sell it for like eight ninety nine. You know what I mean? Like guys, you're playing with your back end. You're playing with like that's where a lot of the money is made. Okay, that's like if you can tweak your back end and perfect that side of things. You're, you're, you're really off to a good start, especially if you can convert on your site, okay, guys? So that's something like I haven't seen many people tell about. And that's something you can do on your site, guys. So literally, you increase the prices for your products, but you really aren't trying to sell them at that rate. You're just going to increase it so you can offer a bigger discount because Black Friday, it's all about huge-ass discounts, okay? So if you can offer a fat discount, you're going to attract more eyeballs to your site. You're going to get more people to convert, especially if you have everything else that I've talked about, like to help convert, like the Herify app, the funnel is built in, like everything is around there. You're going to convert, guys, if you like play around and do this, okay? So that is secret number two or like a must-do number two. I don't know if it's a must-do, but it's something I do and something you can do to actually convert hella on your site, okay? Now, uh, the third thing, guys, is you need to offer free shipping. I've seen, like, this should be an industry standard for drop shipping, okay? You guys aren't even paying for shipping. There's e-packet. You should be including that in the price of your product, okay? Because if you can offer free shipping like first of all first of all most of your competitors probably already offer free shipping if you're not offering free shipping that's that's you're, you're below them now okay you're not you're not doing as good as them right and what I tell you guys is like yo this is drop shipping it's the easiest industry to get into okay you're looking at your competitors and what you can do better if you're not offering free shipping and all your competition is you're now below them guys you're losing money on that because that is one the number one rule breaker in commissions like that's the conv conversions okay that's the number one thing to steer people away when converting on your site is shipping costs okay you guys you gotta do your research that that's the thing that's why everyone's offering free shipping and that's why you gotta offer free shipping okay so you need to offer free shipping guys that's it oh my god if like I've seen people like it should be again like an industry standard for all you drop shippers out there okay you gotta offer free shipping if you aren't then you have to that might mean you have to increase your price by a few extra dollars but that's completely worth it because the shipping cost at the end is what throws people off if you can get a customer all the way to the end to the shipping price but then they leave because of that like that's lost money down the drain okay so if you just again change how it's perceived okay again it's all about perception how your brand is perceived if you can change how your brand is perceived like hey now we offer free shipping but your prices are up two dollars like that that's not gonna like a price up two dollars isn't necessarily gonna hurt you as much as a shipping cost tacked on to the price of a product already okay so it's all about perception guys it's literally how you're gonna be perceived in, in your marketing in your branding in your website okay Ooh, and then uh rule number four guys is you need to be mobile if you haven't been on your website on mobile and checked out, you know, your um, your, your site menu, your sidebars, and, like, when you click them, if they, like, go out properly, like, I got it. Like, when, when you guys ask me to check out your websites, and I do, a lot of times I go on it on my mobile because I'm on the go, right? I don't have time to be on, like, the desktop and sit down on it, but I go on my mobile feed, and I already see a bunch of things that aren't looking good, guys. PayPal had one-third of all their transactions on Black Friday, Cyber Monday on this period come from mobile. 33% of everything came from mobile, guys. If you're not optimized on mobile, you're losing a lot of potential money, a lot potential clients and I'm sure if you guys are looking at your Shopify stats a lot of people come from mobile and there's even even like some of you guys will have less people on desktop than mobile and if you're not like optimized on mobile that's a huge huge problem because in this day and age with the technology and everything more and more people are buying on mobile every day that's why Instagram introduced like Instagram partnered with Shopify to introduce like the Shopify feed like where you can shop on Instagram and whatnot like they're trying to help people convert on mobile even more so if you aren't on mobile if you're not optimized on mobile guys then that that's a problem what, what does that mean though is like one you got you got to look at your site on mobile and 
test it out, okay? It's like, go through purchase flow, go through everything, see if it's smooth, smoother than desktop. Oftentimes, when you're on Shopify, editing your website on my desktop, I'll switch to the mobile layout, and I'll look at it at that, okay? Because most of my traffic comes from mobile. Why would you edit it on your desktop version, okay, and change your desktop version if most of your site comes from mobile, right? Obviously, you want your desktop to look good, all right? But... If, if most traffic is coming from mobile, you need to make sure your mobile site looks good, okay? And like, I literally just Google, I Google the stat of mobile shoppers, but guys, mobile shoppers accounted for 50%. Last, last year for Black Friday, or like, I don't, I think it's just last year in general. Um, okay, but either way, mobile shoppers accounted for 50% of all transactions, guys, accounting to a total of $38 billion in sales, okay? And, and it literally says it's a 23% increase from last year. So I'm telling you guys, this year and this Black Friday, it's, it's going to be more mobile and you need to be more mobile friendly if you aren't already, okay? So again, guys, mobile optimize is super, super, super important. There's a bunch of apps on Shopify too that you can do that help you um, at least like, even, even if it's just speeding up load times and whatnot, guys, people are lazy and people are impatient. If you can increase your load times and your load speeds a lot faster that's a good thing and here's what i've heard like like certain apps on shopify like privy versus beaconing like if you have beaconing or something it'll slow your site down by like three extra seconds or something when loading like there's different things you got to tweak and play around with guys it's the smallest things that you got to be aware of that that can affect your site and affect um your bounce rate and affect your conversions and whatnot but again guys so again if you if you got to be mobile optimized okay that, that that's that's point number four okay point number five okay simplify the checkout process you want it to be so easy for people to buy from your site that they literally don't have to do anything again like on all my sites you're three clicks away from a purchase at, at, at all times at all times okay Wh wherever you are on the site you're three clicks away from buying something okay and what that means is you don't want to make it complicated for the user to purchase something okay it, like for, uh, for, for, my, for my product description guys they were never long paragraphs I see a lot of you guys try and write huge 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 lengthy paragraphs to like sell them on the product and tell how amazing it is but guys what what I what worked best for my descriptions was something super simple I literally just stated what the hell the product was okay and then uh, the materials or whatever and like dimensions if, if it was required like sunglasses or whatever They want to know the size and whatnot, okay, but it was a super simple description I wasn't trying to paint a picture in their head a lot of times customers will already have an idea of this product in their head You're selling a lifestyle to them. Okay, you're selling glasses. I'm not gonna put my description Oh, yeah, you know These are perfect for the beach or like like a lot of you guys say that stuff and like I never did It was literally just what the product is blah 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 And then I have good lifestyle photos on on my site right that can help paint a picture in a customer's head But a lot of times you don't want to force something down their throat like force an image down their throat when they already have some in their head and you just want to be there for them supporting it like hey you can see these sunglasses this is what they are you already have an idea of what you're going to use them for what, what what whatever images in your head here you go check out bye cheers see you later okay that's what you got to do all right so literally simplify the checkout process guys simplify like the ease of payment everything okay you want to make it so easy for customers to actually buy something that that it's not it's not hard a lot of you guys are, like it's super challenging by it because you have to go through all these different uh, all these different pages all these different like whatever it is but it slows them down even if they're like five clicks away from purchase instead of three again people are lazy people are impatient they want it now okay they want to do things now they want it right away we live in a world of now 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 and if you can't adapt if you can't help people with that with that with that urge of, of wanting things now you're fucked okay so again, simplify easy purchase. That's the five things, guys. Now I know this video is titled Five Things, but I'm always trying to drop value for you guys. So I do have one more thing, and it's remarketing to these clients, guys. Shop or not Shopify. Black Friday Cyber Money is a huge, huge, huge marketing like like week, all right? And Obviously, you're not going to get everyone to convert on your site. But what that means, though, is that you're having a lot of traffic come to your site. You need to collect those emails, guys. Those people are interested in those products. They went to your site because, hey, they want they showed curiosity or interest in that product. You want to get their email, get some sort of information from the site. You can remarket to them down the road and get them to purchase. Now, you might even be able to get the purchase. You might even be able to get them to purchase the product at a higher price when the sales are off because they were already interested in it and they just didn't capitalize on Black Friday. Or you can get them to capitalize, you know, the week after Cyber Monday when you're running, you know, final deals and whatnot, okay? Because again, you always want to be marketing that kind of stuff. This is a huge, huge, huge marketing ploy for you guys to use. Now, you need to remarket, guys. That means capture the emails. Have your exit intent apps like Privy, okay? All the links in the descriptions, literally. Privy, all that kind of stuff. You want them in your, um, on your site, okay? To get information, to get data, to to collect these emails so you can remarket, remarket to customers later on with email marketing, okay? That also means you want your Facebook pixel on your freaking website so you can do retargeting campaigns on Facebook to get those people back to your site after they've left and dipped and haven't converted yet, right? So that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little bit long, but I wanted to give you guys some value and drop some bombs for you guys. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Hope you guys uh, make a lot of money. And um, if, if you're trying to get deals, I hope you guys find the best deals and spend a lot of money and make those other guys rich out, uh, whatever you want, right? But 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, I respond to everyone's comments, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out the course, guys, if you haven't already. Uh, there's a huge discount for Black Friday Cyber Monday, guys. Literally, I'm using the same marketing things that I'm showing you guys, um, that I show you guys in the course and in, in all this private stuff that I got going on. Literally, like, experiment, guys. This is a huge weekend for you, for, for all you dropshippers, and I want everyone to, like, make a lot of money and find success in that. And it might even be, like, you, 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 you break, you break, you know, you get your first sale on Black Friday. You get all this kind of, like, cool milestones that you hit. I want you to do that. So share share your experiences, guys, in the captions or in the comments below on you know at, like how 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 your site's doing currently, how it does afterward. Like let's give updates. George, we're waiting for you. And yeah, guys, check out the course. Link is in the description. Fat discount for the next four days. Um, if you guys are interested in the private mastermind, I am accepting inquiries right now. No one's um like I haven't uh, accepted anyone yet, but you can apply for the private mastermind. Um, that begins next month in December. This one's already like filled up. Okay, and then there's one on ones that you can apply for, guys. Um, um, that's actually very very cramped. Uh, I have to be super like particular with who I choose for that stuff But you can apply for the one-on-ones the masterminds and guys this this is why I want your feedback on I'm thinking of starting like a Like it, it's a big group. Okay, anyone can like hop in. It's just like a, a big group a channel that that I can drop value in that I can communicate with you guys more frequently on instead of just me um, you know talking to the camera on YouTube and whatnot but I'm thinking of making just a giant group that that people can join and whatnot it's like kind of like a telegram or so it could even be a telegram or site but I want to actually provide value for you guys so yes there would be a fee but that it weeds out the, the the people that don't give a shit okay and also it makes it so that this group is relatively small in comparison to like a giant free group where there's a bunch of random people in it right but that's the video guys like let me know if you guys want me to do something like that um i have a few buddies that that want to like kind of pair up maybe and do that like that could be really cool so leave a comment if you guys are interested in that um i'll see you guys in the next video take care and i'll see you guys later all right peace